A lot of people out there in the MMORPG world have been waiting for years and years for that game they called the World of Warcraft Killer. Something that replaces WoW in their hearts for good, allowing them to look into the future of the MMORPG genre and not into the past. To some, this game may be Final Fantasy, to others New World, but most people seem to have their eyes set on Pantheon, the League of Legends MMO, and Ashes of Creation. But if you are one of those people looking for Ashes of Creation, to be the next WoW killer, well, you shouldn't. Not because I think Ashes of Creation will fail or have a low player base, because I don't think that at all, as any of you out there watching my channel probably know by now. I think this because Ashes of Creation and World of Warcraft are so far apart in the genre that it makes me cringe to think that people out there are actually comparing the two. Really, the only thing that these two games have in common is the fact that they are categorized as MMORPGs. Otherwise, they are a long, long ways apart. World of Warcraft is your traditional theme park MMORPG that although once was extremely well received and its current expansion seems to be doing well, it has had a lot of flops along the way forcing the developers to make change after change, making a lot of its content outdated. The game also came out 18 years ago, so anyone who played WoW back at launch is more than likely living a completely different life than they were back then. At least, I kinda hope you are. The fact that this game is so old puts its average player base these days far out of the skipping school to grind for your 24-hour LAN party, as all who played at launch would be well into adulthood now, with the average player being almost 32 years years old. And I don't know about the rest of you, but at this age, between work and life, it's at times extremely difficult to be able to sit down and play a game at all. Which is why I firmly believe that the main reason World of Warcraft is even still on the leaderboard is because it is very casual friendly these days. You can now level from 1 to 70 in a matter of days, gear up through the group finder or the raid finder, and even grab end game gear from world quests and vendors, making it very easy for players to feel accomplished by hitting that end game boss even if it's through the raid finder and not feel the need to put months of playtime in to get to that point. Obviously, WoW still has its more hardcore player base as well, doing the mythic dungeons and all that, but the majority of players never even get to that point. And honestly, are we even looking for a WoW killer these days, or just a way to bring back that feeling the game brought us all the way back 18 years ago, when we were kids and had plenty of free time? Because unfortunately, we were all young and had much more time than we probably do now, and I don't think most of us will ever capture that feeling we are looking for again so easily. But anyways, Ashes of Creation, on the other hand, is nearly the complete opposite. As I've said many times, if you're looking to play Ashes Casual, you may not fare as well compared to everyone else because Ashes of Creation is not a casual game. This game is being built to take an investment. Leveling from 1 to cap will take more than 250 hours played to start, which would be 45 days straight of 4 to 6 hours a day. That is over a month of consistently playing to hit just any game and not start anything else. And for the people who can only play one to two days a week, they will have a very hard time even hitting max level anytime close to launch. There is also minimal fast travel in the world to get around with, and Rive over on Reddit even broke down the math for us with the run speed of a WoW character it would take roughly 1.5 hours to go from the top of the map to the bottom. And even when mounted, this would still take roughly 45 minutes. Which if you're only playing for 2 hours a night and need to get to that dungeon on the other side of the world, well, good luck. There is no group or raid finder either, meaning you'll have to find players through groups or city chats, which alone would take some time. The dungeons and raids will also learn from your party, causing bosses to get more challenging the better you do, so getting a fully geared character is not going to come easy at all. On top of that, Ashes of Creation gameplay wise is meant to be pretty challenging if you're playing solo, so if you are casual I would recommend grouping up with some friends if you can find the time to do it. That is not to say though that casual players jumping into the world of Vera won't have a good time, as there are still tons and tons of features to do, including the well known ones such as crafting, questing, and exploring, but it will be very hard for anyone to succeed in Ashes of Creation playing 1-2 to two hours a day. It's just not something that's going to come easy at all. And this is exactly why 
Ashes of Creation won't crush WoW into no existence, because a lot of people these days just don't have the time to play. And unless an MMORPG comes out that does the job of catering to the casual and the hardcore players like WoW does, along with bringing back that nostalgia feel, then World of Warcraft is going to live for many, many, many more years. But don't let this stop you from being hyped for Ashes of Creation at all, because it has many good things to come and I still believe it will be an extremely successful MMORPG, with millions of active subscribers bringing back old players who are looking for a more challenging experience, along with bringing a whole new generation of players into the genre, where they can finally learn that they can have fun in a video game without having their hand held every step of the way. It'll just have a very hard time capturing that casual WoW player base without completely changing its vision, which I really can't see happening. Do you think Ashes of Creation has a chance to finally replace that feeling in our soul we have all been looking for? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.